What is shaking, guys? It is CJ. You know, CJ. CJ? From, from High Tide Lacrosse. Yeah, see, I knew you'd remember. I knew you'd remember. Bro. How's everybody doing today? It is a fine day. Sadly, the weather is not complying with the status quo of it being early May, late April, early May, depending on when this video comes out. Um, but today, I'm really stoked. We are going, I am going to, well, we, there's nobody else here except my lizard. We are going to be doing a review of the Tribe 7. B7 lacrosse head. So this is the one of the newest heads from Tribe 7 lacrosse and you guys know I am a Tribe 7 fanatic. I love Tribe 7. I love what they're doing um, and this is probably their biggest stride getting into the mainstream lacrosse world I, I suppose. So this is an offensively minded head uh, specifically made uh, obviously you know with input from Greg Rinlian, the the master of of all things face-offs. You know that this is going to be an excellent face-off head, but on initial looks, uh, the first thing I notice is that it has a very long straight face shape. It actually looks a lot like uh, the old Rabel, the first Rabel head, um, where it was very straight and had this very, it, it's it's abrupt, but it's also a very rounded scoop. It reminds me a lot of, the, of that. It's got this crossed uh, you know this really this this quick offset so the flex point is going to be right in here so I mean I'll probably make a video of me taking a face off with it but in theory it's supposed to when you clamp down it's going to rotate right over on the top of that flex point which means it's, the ball is going to get trapped right in this area for your for all you face off guys out there and you guys know if you follow me on Instagram and if you haven't go down right there down below go follow High Tide Lacrosse on Instagram, I will wait. Okay, good, alrighty. <laughs> then we look at the, the overall uh, 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 durability of the head. Uh, on initial looks, the first thing I notice is that it feels different. It feels uh, stronger. I, I think that's the, the plastic that they use to, to make the head. It, it's very tough. It seems, and it's it's also, I mean, this is stupid light, like, compared to uh, any of the other heads out there, this, this is this is ridiculous how light this is. I'm not exactly sure specifically in ounces, but it is really, really light. With the flex point being in the middle, if you go up to the top of the scoop, the scoop is super duper tough, like really, really hard, um, which is excellent because... I know with the STX Duel, what was happening was when people would go down to take a face off that the scoop would almost fold back on itself, but this doesn't do that at all. It's really, really strong. In the, in the vertical, it's really, really strong, and then it has that really nice flex point down below, so that's cool. Uh, on the back of the scoop, you can see these two little triangular, uh, uh, I guess, appendages <laughs> jetting out from the top. Those are uh, basically what that does is when you go down for a ground ball it's essentially raising the scoop off the turf a little bit. So what that is actually going to do is uh, decrease drag so you actually be able to in theory uh, scoop the ball much much faster. Uh, going down to the bottom uh, the throat is significantly shorter than a throat of any of another head, any other head that I've seen. So that's designed for control for the face-off guys. You know, when they need you, you can't touch the head with your hand. Uh, so the closer you can get it, the more control you have. So that's really cool. And I know a while ago um, they were having issues with the with the throats breaking, but now if you can kind of see it, I mean the throat is super duper beefed up. Like it is, it's. The throat is thick, like it is really, like there's no, I'm squeezing it with all my might and there's nothing happening. Unlike the Savage 7, which if you, I did a review of the Savage 7 as well, uh, check that down below. Uh, I'll put a link somewhere, maybe, maybe right here, I'll try to put a caption. in. Um, you know that the, I said the string was kind of tough um, because there wasn't a lot of sidewalls 
uh, up in the top here it kind of started like relatively speaking down here but this one has holes all the way up to the top which is more of like a standard lacrosse head so uh, it's much more apt to be strong more like a traditional head which is really really cool I didn't really mind the way the other heads were uh, with it being down it just presented a little bit more of a challenge and I'm, I'm all for that but I think this is gonna be much more stringer savvy a stringer savvy a lacrosse head so we're gonna string this up with the last piece of uh, moonbeam moon mesh because I mean I and my face off head I want the best and we're also gonna do it Aquaman theme because heck yeah baby here's better also don't worry my hair's all here longer it's even longer than probably the last time look at my beard it's so much longer now I'm really looking like Jesus, but... Alright, so we will get this strung up, and we will get back to you right after we string it up. Alrighty, we are all done, and it looks absolutely killer. I am really happy with how this came out. Uh, we So we hooked it up with some black uh, Moonbeam Moon Mesh, which looks really cool. In, with with uh, the black and white, with the white hat, it looks really, really, really fresh. Got it on the white. Uh, scandium shaft. I'm gonna move to something else later on, which will be a later review, but for now this will work. Hooked it up with a green uh, nylon for the top uh, shooting string and then a neon orange uh, shooting string just to keep it Aquaman themed. Just a little splash of color on an otherwise white, completely white stick, which looks really, really fresh. The spacing on the top string holes is good, but it's a little bit far. Um, so I had to really, really crank the mesh, but that's all. that actually ends up being okay because it's strung really, really nice and even like this center, this center striker is like right in the middle. Uh, I pulled it really, really tight. So that, I guess it's a trade-off and it's good. The top, the anchor, the hole for the anchor for the top string is also a little bit small. Um, I had to, you had to really finesse it. Like I tried to use a hero string and it was not having it. It was way too small. But other than that, uh, the, side, the rest of the sidewall was pretty good. Uh, you know, it's strung nice, you know, the spacing on the sidewall holes is excellent. Like, you can tell that they took their time on it because the spacing is really, really good on the sidewall holes. The sidewall holes are also ovals. I didn't point that out. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. <laughs> they look like a little volcano. And you can tell that they're reinforced and they're ready to be cranked on those uh, on those face-offs. The, 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 the pinch and the flex point is absolutely perfect the ball sits right in the bottom of the head there and it really pinches it really really well and I don't really see any issues happening with it at the moment I am super stoked for this I am it looks amazing like like that is a fresh looking lacrosse stick right there looking for a, a great head at a good price because you know price is my big thing here at high tide lacrosse if you're if you're guessing about if you're considering buying it get it especially if you're a face of guy th this should be your first option, no doubt. For the price, that's a no-brainer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to all the subscribers and the followers out there. We love you guys, you are amazing. Uh, so if you haven't already, subscribe below to High Tide Lacrosse for more videos. Uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, and we will see you guys next time. You guys are great, fantastic I believe it was. We can't do what we do without you. Have a killer day, everybody. Tribe 7 is you.